Hello all, my name is Mark Richards and today I will be presenting my project I created during the front end development course through New Camp. I will be going over the goals of this project, technologies I use and challenges I faced and how I overcame them. For starters, this is the landing section of the home page. I kept it simple and just added one call to action which will guide users, clients, recruiters to my portfolio section so they can see the work I've done. Before we see the portfolio section, there's more to the home page, such as a quick synopsis of my skills, such as my full stack developer coding languages, frameworks, and stacks I'm currently using, as well as what I make as a graphic designer and the tools I use. Furthermore, I have services at a glance. So as of right now, I have five services offered, and these are dynamically rendered. So I have a services JS file that has an array of objects there's certain properties that are mapped over and this is how I have these individual cards. So on my home page I only wanted three so what I did is just I sliced the array of objects and then I mapped over just the first three and I did this method so I can do dynamic routing so each uh, object ID is used to render a services info component which is basically a page dedicated to each service. Lastly, I have interest in working together with another call to action, and then my footer with a link to my GitHub and a link to my LinkedIn. So you'll notice when I go to the About page, that will be scrolled right to the top. This is thanks to the React Scroll library that I imported, because initially my pages were just loading at the current, the previous scroll point. So I would have loaded at the bottom of the About page, which wasn't right, so I did some research and was able to figure out the React Scroll would be the solution to that. So the About page has a quick summary of me, as well as a download of a resume, which opens in a new tab. I have a third-party React vertical timeline component that is animated, simplistic, and easy to implement, and is completely responsive. So when I, mobile users see this, all the items stack on the right hand side. So this covers my education and my work experience at a quick glance and then resume has the full details. Moving forward, the services section maps over the same array of objects and right now it's five but I did it that way so as this continues to grow or if I add a back end and continue to add services to that it will just be mapped through. So this will continue to grow and also pass each object ID so I can make create individual services page. For example, website design has a breadcrumb to show users where they are. The title is updated, the description is updated as an individual picture, what I offer gets updated. Uh, the interested button takes you to the contact form and the other services is just just for the user's benefit because I didn't want them to keep going back to services in order to view the other services. So these are all the same. Same style, different information. So website development, responsive design, redesign websites, and websites and mobile app. Lastly, I have the portfolio section, which was my first big challenge because I had to essentially filter it because I wanted this section separated and I wasn't doing a web development and a graphic design button I could just click on. I just wanted two separate sections for now until I implement a more complicated backend. And so I have some functions that essentially constants that will go over the array of project objects passed in and we'll look at their category and then render the right uh, style. So basically the right card. Same thing for graphics. I look for the project category or graphic. And then I have a project info component that depending on the category will display different pages. So it's a well-developed project. It talks about description, my role, project difficulties, my solution, technology to use, and notable features. It also has a link to the GitHub and also a link to the website. For the graphic design projects, these are simply carousel because pretty much all my graphic design projects in the future will just be images. So I thought that would be the best solution. So this is an uncontrolled carousel component from React Strap. And then it just has a quick description and also dynamic updates with portfolio, business letterhead, and then the title here as well. 
And lastly, I have a contact form, which is fully functioning. This form will directly email my personal email and let me know that someone's interested in talking to me. Thank you for taking time to review this video, and I look forward to your feedback.